blowouts, a look at two stocks. Whether it's in the form of great earnings or positions getting blown off the books, Brian Bolin gives you the lowdown on what happened. Welcome to another edition of Bolin's Blowouts. I'm Brian Bolin, where I take a look at two stocks, one that's being blown off the books and one that has a blowout earnings report. Let's get right to the uh, first stock, and this is one that is getting blown off the books. You know, retail stocks have had it, uh, had a real tough time over the last few months here. Expectations were running high for the holiday season, uh, but a lot of stocks, a lot of names in the retail sector were hurt. Uh, looks like Amazon ate a lot of uh, market share here. And, you know, this stock in particular uh, was being blown off the books. It is a Zach's rank number five, and we know that means it's a strong sell mostly because earnings estimates have been moving lower. So if we take here, uh, take a look at the screen, we can see that Bence Holding Company, BNCE is the stock I'm talking about with the number five rank right here, and has an F uh, growth style score. As the growth analyst, I'm always looking for strong growth, and this one does not have it. We can see the stock is uh, $2.52 here, and as I looked at it last night, obviously it wasn't up 12%, but, and the chart really didn't look quite as good here with this little bounce here, but... We've seen the stock move from, uh, you know, over $4 to uh, right around 2 over the last several weeks. So why is that, uh, you know, the worry, you know, why is this cause for concern? We see that the earnings uh, most recently was a miss here. Uh, only a penny, but when you're priced for perfection, you can't really have a miss like this. Uh, so what has happened here? Earnings estimates have been moving lower. We've seen uh, the current quarter move from a gain of four cents, and that has trickled to a break even, then a loss of three cents, and now it's sitting at a loss of five cents. Next quarter, pretty much the same thing. It was looking for a loss, and that has moved lower. This year, that gain of four cents, now it's a loss of eight cents. But really, here is why this thing is being blown off the books is because all of the air is coming out of the bag. And when we talk about a small retail name like this, we're looking at the expectations for future growth. Those expectations are really falling off here. So take a look at next year's earnings estimates. They started off at 20 cents 90 days ago. Now, then they moved down to 17, then 13, then 10. Now they're at nine. Being more than cut in half here for your earnings estimates for next year, that's definitely a way that's going to get a lot of investors to sell your stock. And that is exactly what has happened with Vince. Let's move along now next to our stock that has uh, provided us with a blowout earnings report. And that came just last night. Uh, Impera, uh, Imperva, excuse me, IMPV is actually a Zach's rank number three right now. Uh, but I expect that rank to move up significantly here in the next couple of days. All the earnings uh, estimates have not come in yet, but we see already that this is a growth style score of A. That's just what I like to see. And a value style score of F. Again, what I love to see when I see a growth style score of A. I want to see that big divergence between what value investors want out of a stock and what growth investors want. This is a growth name, and obviously when we have those big divergences there, we know that we're going to get what we want. So let's take a look here at why this stock is a, a, in Boland's blowouts with the blowout report. Uh, analysts were expecting a loss of $0.36 cents in the quarter. And instead, we have a loss of 30 cents. That six cent beat is good for a 16% positive earning surprise. We can see the last quarter there was an even bigger surprise. But, you know, what we're going to look for uh, coming up here are earnings estimates that are going to move higher. We can see right now that earnings estimates have been holding steady for the last uh, several months here. But now with this big beat and there was also a raise in guidance, we should expect to see earnings raise up. Now, here's the real kicker about IMPV. Uh, they just went under a, a reorganization here, and none of the sales staff were fired. They did adjust their marketing team, and that caused the gigantic beat and also the raise. Now, there was also speculation that this company was putting itself up for sale. Now, if you add these two things together, a reorg, a good beat, possibility of a sale, you see that they have really cleaned up the ship here and could get an even better multiple going forward. So that's why this stock is in Boland's blowouts. Now I should mention that I am long 
IMPV at the current time as well as an item of full disclosure. That's it for this week for Boland's Blowouts. Be sure to stick with us and look for more 